Welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet step-by-step -step this little jacket, coat, or sweater with collar for baby boys and girls between six and nine months old. I made it to match the baby blanket that I showed you last week, so I hope you like it. Now, if you want to see the tutorial of the baby blanket, I'll leave the link up here, or if you click the little lamb next to my channel name, it'll take you to my main channel page. You will find the tutorial there. Now, the little jacket that we're going to make in the tutorial like i said is for six to nine months but you can make it smaller or bigger from zero to three months and up to 12 months down here in the information box i'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out also if you prefer a written pattern and would like to support my channel by purchasing the written pattern i'll leave the link to my etsy shop in the information box as well thank you for your support now, let's get started, but don't forget, all of my tutorials are always in English and in Spanish. Don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications bell to all notifications so that you don't miss any of my tutorials. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Okay, to crochet this little jacket, I'll be using this 5mm crochet hook, and today I'm using this medium number 4 yarn. Now, you can also use 10 ply or air and weight yarn. Now, to begin, I have a total of 50 chains. This chain here, without stretching or anything, it's measuring about 13.25 inches, which is about 34 centimeters. Now, if your chain is off by 1 or 2 centimeters, just continue. So here, to begin, on the second chain from the hook, 1, 2, into the second chain here, make one half double crochet, one half double crochet into the next chain, one half double crochet into the next, and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to make one half double crochet on each chain. Continue, and I'll meet you at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of the first row. This is where I did half double crochets. I have 48 half double crochets. Now for the second row, chain two and turn. Now these two chains never count as a stitch. They're just here so that when we finish the yoke, this part here is nice and straight. Now what I'm going to do here is a total of six double crochets. This is going to be the first front panel. So into the first half double crochet, make a double crochet into the next a double crochet that's two three four five six now into the next make a v stitch double crochet chain one double crochet here's the front panel and here's the first corner now for the sleeve, we're going to make a total of 10 double crochets. So into the next, make a double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten double crochets now into the next stitch make a v stitch so a double crochet chain one double crochet and here's the second corner now for the back side i'm going to make a total of 12 double crochets so that's one two three and so on until i have 12. now continue and make these 12 double crochets i'll come back and show you what we need to do next I finished making these 12 double crochets for the back side. Here's the second corner. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 12. Now into the next stitch here, make your third corner. So that's a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And now for the second sleeve, we're going to make 10 double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten double crochets. Here's the second sleeve. Now into the next stitch, make your fourth corner. So that's a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. 
Now here, we're going to finish with these last six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Continue, let's finish this second row. I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row. I finished making these last six double crochets. Now, just to review, in this second row, we did a total of six double crochets here for the front panel. Then we did the first corner. Then we did a total of 10 double crochets for one of the sleeves. And then we did the second corner. And then for the back side, we did 12 double crochets. And then we did the third corner. For the second sleeve, we did 10 double crochets. And then we did the fourth corner. And then finished here with six double crochets for the second front panel. If we count each one of these double crochets, including the double crochets for each corner, you should have 52 double crochets. Now, to continue for the third row, we're going to chain two and turn. Remember, the two chains never count. Now, in this third row, I'm going to make one double crochet into each one of these double crochets until I come to the chain one space here of the first corner. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets inside this chain one space here make a v-stitch double crochet chain one double crochet now for the sleeves we're going to work these two four six eight ten twelve double crochets beginning on top of the first double crochet make one that's one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Inside the chain one space, make a V-stitch double crochet chain one double crochet now you're going to continue and work these stitches for the back side you're going to make two four six eight ten twelve fourteen double crochets and inside the chain one space you're going to make a v-stitch then continue for the sleeve and make twelve double crochets two four six eight ten 12 and inside the chain one space make a v-stitch and then finish with these last seven double crochets two four six seven i will meet you at the end of this third row to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this third row i have a total of 60 double crochets now from here on we're going to be increasing eight stitches at the end of every row because we have four corners and on each corner we make two double crochets so that's two four six eight now for the fourth row we're going to chain two and turn here i'm going to start you off in this row but you're going to finish it and then do a couple more rows so here on the fourth row we did two chains then turn begin on top of the first double crochet make a double crochet that's one two three four five six seven eight double crochets we have the chain one space here you're going to make your v-stitch and then you're going to continue along and work these double crochets for the sleeve and then here you're going to make your v-stitch for the back side work those stitches and then a v-stitch and then for the second sleeve again work these stitches then make a v-stitch and then finish here uh, these stitches for the front panel at the end of this fourth row you're going to have 68 double crochets now like i said i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do but all you're going to do is just repeat this same row and remember at the end of every row we increase eight stitches now continue watching i'll let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do for the yoke so i will meet you at the end of that row 
I'm here at the end of the fifth row. I have five rows, one, two, three, four, five. At the end of this fifth row, I have 76 double crochets. Now, each one of the front panels has 10 and 10. Each one of the sleeves here has 18 and 18. And here for the back side, I have 20. Now, here for the back side, what I want you to do is we have a total of 20 stitches. I want you to put a stitch marker into the 10th double crochet. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. So on top of this 10th double crochet, put a stitch marker. Here in the back side, I'm going to make an increase. So I'm going to do this in the next row, row six. So here to do this last row for the yoke in the next row i'm going to divide the sleeves chain two and turn now here we're going to work one double crochet for each one of these double crochets for the front panel until we come to the chain one space into the chain one space make your v stitch then continue for the sleeve Eighteen for the sleeve into the chain one space make a v-stitch and then we're going to continue for the back side we're going to work these ten double crochets so that's eight nine and into this tenth stitch where we have the stitch marker make a double crochet increase so make two double crochets there now continue and work these remaining double crochets which is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that we finish the back side and then into the corner you're going to make your v-stitch continue for the sleeve make your v-stitch and finish here at the end i will meet you at the end of this sixth row to show you what we need to do next and there's the increase i'm here at the end of this sixth row at the end of this sixth row i have a total of 85 double crochets now each one of the front panels has 11 double crochets each one of the sleeves has 20 double crochets and then for the back side I have 23 double crochets because here in the back side we did an increase. So that's a total of 85 double crochets at the end of the sixth row. Now we're going to divide the sleeves in the next row. So I'm going to start counting rows. This is going to be row one. So for the first row here, we're going to chain three and turn. These three chains here now do count as a double crochet. Into the first double crochet here, make a double crochet. So here I have two double crochets at the beginning. Now skip one double crochet and into the next one. It's the third double crochet if you count from the beginning. One, two, three. Here make a shell. Each one of these shells is going to consist of three double crochets. Now skip one, two, and into the third double crochet make another shell. Skip one, two, and into the third, another shell. Skip one, two, and into the chain one space of this first corner, make another shell. So here for the front panel, I have four shells plus the two double crochets here at the beginning. Now to divide the first sleeve, chain five. That's two, three, four, Five. Skip these 20 double crochets for the first sleeve and into the second corner, into the chain one space, make a shell. One, two, three. Now skip one, two, and into the third double crochet here, make a shell. three double crochets skip one two and into the third same thing make a shell 
skip one, two, and into the third, make a shell. Skip one, two, and into the third shell. Skip one, two, and into the third, a shell. Skip one, two, and into the third, a shell. Skip one, two, and into the third, shell. Now here's the third corner, skip one, two, and into the chain one space of this third corner, make a shell. And here's the back side. We have two, four, six, eight, nine shells for the back side. Now to divide the second sleeve, chain five. Skip these 20 double crochets for the second sleeve and into the fourth corner, into the chain one space, make a shell. Now here, skip one and into the second double crochet here, make a shell. Skip one, two, and into the third, a shell. Skip one, two, and into the third, a shell. And here, skip one, two, and into the third, which is the last double crochet here, make two double crochets. And here's the first row where we have divided the sleeves. Now, each one of the front panels has four shells, one, two, three, four, and two double crochets. One, two, three, four, two double crochets. For the back side, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shells. So here's the first row, and that's what it looks like. Now, for the second row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now, into this first space here between the first shell and the two double crochets, insert your hook there and make a double crochet. Now, go down to the row below and into this double crochet that you see here right there, make this long double crochet. It's a normal double crochet, but we just go into the row below. Now into this space again, make a double crochet. So here we have three double crochets, one, two, three. Now again, into the next space here, make a double crochet, go to the row below, and into this double crochet here, make a double crochet, and then next to it again, a double crochet. One more time into the next space, make a double crochet, Go down to the row below, and here you see this double crochet. Here we were skipping two double crochets, so into the first double crochet here, so this one here, make a double crochet. Next to it, make a double crochet. Now, into the next space, make a double crochet. Go to the row below here and make a double crochet, and next to it again, a double crochet. So here I have one, two, three, four of these um, spike double crochets. Now we have the five chains here under the sleeve. We're going to go into the first chain and make three double crochets. One, two, three. Now skip one, two, three, and into the fourth chain here, make three double crochets. One, two, three. So here under the sleeve, I've increased two shells. Now skip these three double crochets for the back side, and in this space here, make a double crochet. Go down to the row below and into this first double crochet here, make a double crochet, and right next to it, make your third double crochet. Now again, into the next space, make a double crochet, go to the row below and into the first double crochet, make a double crochet, and next to it here, make your third double crochet. This part here is the same as we did here for the front panel. 
you're going to continue until you come to the next five chains. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to work these chains and then finish this second row. Okay, I finished making these shells here for the back side. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these shells. Now I went ahead and did the same thing I did here under this first sleeve. I did here into the first chain I did three double crochets then I skipped one two three and into the fourth which is the last chain I did another shell now here we're going to continue for the front panel so skip this first shell and into this space here make a double crochet go down to the row below into the first double crochet out of these two make a double crochet and next to it a double crochet and then do the same thing until we finish this second row And now here, this is the last space, same thing. We're going to finish here with this shell. Now to finish this second row here at the end, we have the double crochet and then we have the three chains. Now in, into the space between these two stitches here, make a double crochet. And here is the second row. At the end of this second row, you should have 20 shells. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now here into this first space between the first shell and the double crochet that we did here at the end, we're going to make our stitch here. So here I'm going to make a double crochet, go down to the row below, and in this case we have the second double crochet. We have the three chains and then the double crochet. So into this double crochet, insert your hook and make this long double crochet and next to it here make a double crochet and here's the first shell for the third row now jump to the next space into the space here make a double crochet and here we have these three double crochets go to the row below and into the second double crochet here in the center make this long double crochet and next to it again make a double crochet here's the second shell now jump to the next space again, make a double crochet, go to the row below, we have the three double crochets, and into the second double crochet out of these three, make your long double crochet, and next to it make your third double crochet. This is how we're going to continue until we come to the two shells we added under the sleeve. Let's see, go to the row below, double crochet and then double crochet here for the front panel I have one two three four five shells now we have these two shells that we added under the sleeve into the space between these two shells here make a double crochet now go to the row of chains here one two three into the second chain here which is the middle chain make a double crochet and then next to it a double crochet so this is how we're going to work here this shell in the center and now we're just going to continue and work the same thing for the back side this part here is the same we did for the front panels into each one of the spaces you make your double crochet go to the row below and into the second double crochet make this long double crochet and next to it make your third double crochet this is how you're going to continue now for the third row here you're going to do the same thing into this space you're going to do the same thing i did here you're going to make this shell and then continue and finish the third row i will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this third row here at the end i have these two chains and right in the middle between the shell here and the two chains into this space here make two double crochets and here's the third row at the end of this third row you should have 20 shells now for the fourth row chain two and turn now from here on this fourth row is the row that we're going to repeat for the body of the little sweater so to start here the fourth row we chain two and turned we have the first space here make a double crochet 
go down to the row below we have these three double crochets into the second double crochet insert your hook and make this second double crochet and next to it again make your third double crochet again into the next space make a double crochet go to the row below and make your second double crochet next to it here your third double crochet this is all we're going to do for this fourth row again into the next space double crochet go to the row below a double crochet and then double crochet next to it double crochet go to the row below into the second double crochet make your second double crochet and next to it again your third double crochet this is how we're going to work these stitches under the sleeve we're not going to make any increases or anything we're just going to continue in the same way into each one of the spaces you're going to work your stitch now continue like this to the end of this fourth row i will meet you there again to show you how to end each row from here on and then how to start the next row i'll see you then i'm here at the end of this fourth row now to finish this row and all the rows to follow this is what you're going to do here at the end we have the two chains and in this space between the two chains and this last stitch here you're going to go into this space and finish with two double crochets you're always going to finish with two double crochets and you're always going to start with two chains just like we did here now at the end of this fourth row i have 20 shells from here on we're always going to have 20 shells and two double crochets at the end so now for the fifth row i'm going to start you off here chain two and turn now into the first space here between the two double crochets and this first stitch pattern here you're going to go here and make this double crochet go to the row below and into the second double crochet which is the middle double crochet in the previous row make your second double crochet then next to it make your third double crochet again into the next space a double crochet go to the row below make this long double crochet and then next to it here your third double crochet and that's all we're going to do you're just going to continue and repeat the same thing over and over which is this row here now to finish this row into this last space here so into this space you're going to make your two double crochets just like we did here and then chain two turn and then repeat exactly the same thing that's how you're going to continue for the rest of the little sweater here i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do so i will meet you at the end of that row Okay, I finished making this part. I have a total of 15 rows from here. This is the first row that we did with the pattern stitch. So from here up to here, there's 15 rows and it's measuring from the top of the neckline down to this last row. It's measuring about 24 centimeters, which is about 9.5 inches. Now, if you want to make this part here longer, you can, you can add more rows. The important thing is that however many rows that you add, make sure that you're going to start this next part on the right side the right side of the little sweater is going to be this side this is where we have the row of half double crochets and as you can see there's a little line here around the neckline so this is going to be the right side of the baby sweater this here is the wrong side now to do this next row this is going to be the bottom of the sweater and it's going to be the first row i'm going to go on top of the last double crochet here grab a loop here i'm going to change color so i'm going to use this white yarn i'm going to chain one now into this same stitch here which is the first double crochet make a half double crochet now into the next one make a half double crochet then into these next three make one half double crochet for this first row this is all i'm going to do i'm going to make one half double crochet on top of each one of these double crochets 
continue, I will meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this first row here into the second chain at the end. I did my last half double crochet. For this first row, I have 63 half double crochets. Now for the second row, we're going to chain one and turn. Now in this row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make front post and back post half double crochets. Now if you have a hard time making front post and back post half double crochets, then what you can do is maybe two, three rows here of half double crochets or even single crochets that would be up to you now here to continue we're going to yarn over on top of the first half double crochet make a half double crochet now into the second one this one here make a front post half double crochet into the next one back post half double crochet next one front post half double crochet back post half double crochet Continue like this, alternating between front post and back post half double crochets until you come to the end. I will meet you right here. I'm here at the end of this second row where I did front post and back post half double crochets. Now this is the last stitch. On top of this last stitch, make a half double crochet. And this is how I finished the second row. You should also have 63 stitches at the end of this row. Now for the third row, we're going to chain one and turn beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a half double crochet. Now into the next one, make a back post half double crochet. Next one, front post half double crochet. Next one, back post half double crochet, and so on. Now continue like this, alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet all the way to the end of this third row. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this third row. This is where I did front post and back post half double crochets. Now here at the end, on top of the last stitch, I did my last half double crochet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue along this side making half double crochets. So here to begin, don't cut your yarn or anything, just chain one. And right here is my last half double crochet. Here, insert your hook there into that space and make a half double crochet. Now half double crochet into the next row, half double crochet into the next. Here, since we had three rows, we, we have three half double crochets. Now we have this part here in blue, into this next row, make one half double crochet. Now into the double crochets here along the side, make two half double crochets. So only go into the double crochets and make two half double crochets. see how many stitches we have. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, up to the last row here of the yoke. 22. Now we're going to continue into the next row, make 1, that's 23, into the next row, make 2, 24, 25, into the next 1, 26, into the next 27 and 28 into the row of half double crochets make one that's 29 and into the row of chains here into the last chain make one so here you should have 30 half double crochets now make sure that whatever number of half double crochets that you have here on this side you do on this other side that's the important thing you could have maybe one or two extra stitches here less or more the important thing is that you do the same number of stitches on this other side now for the second row chain one and turn we're going to work our way down here on top of the first half double crochet make a half double crochet now into the next, make a front post half double crochet, into the next back post half double crochet. Now this part here is the same like we did at the bottom. So all we're going to do here is just alternate between a front post and a back post half double crochet. Make sure that these stitches again, they're nice and loose. They're not too tight. 
this part here tends to shrink or at least this stitch here tends to shrink and we don't want that to happen make sure that these stitches are nice and loose you can also if you notice that they're too tight here you can also use a slightly bigger hook if you notice that this part here is shrinking um, you can pull on it and it should straighten out that's what it looks like so continue for this second row I will meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next I'm here at the end of this second row now here at the end on top of the last half double crochet here on top make a half double crochet I have 30 stitches at the end of this second row now for the third row chain one and turn now here we're going to do the same thing we did in the second row beginning on top of the first half double crochet make a half double crochet into the next a front post half double crochet into the next back post half double crochet front post back post and so on until we finish this third row continue I will meet you here at the top to show you what we need to do next okay I finished making the third row here at the end I just did my last half double crochet on top of the last one then I cut my yarn and passed my yarn through that last loop and this front panel here is all done we did a total of three rows and we had a total of 30 stitches now we're going to go here to this side to do this side here we're going to start from the top to the bottom because if we start from the bottom up it's going to be on the wrong side so here we're going to start into the chain space here at the end we're going to grab a loop here here on this side we're going to do exactly the same thing I'm just going to start you off here so here chain one and into the same stitch here which is a chain stitch make a half double crochet now we're going to go into the next row and make a half double crochet into the next row make one then here I'm going to make two then one then two one two and so on here there's no right or wrong way of doing this here the important thing is that you make the same number of stitches that you did on this side you're going to do it here on this side for me I have 30 so I'm going to make sure that I have 30 half double crochets here at the end so continue make these half double crochets and I'll meet you here at the bottom to show you what we need to do next I finished making these half double crochets for the second front panel I have 30 stitches actually I will have 30 after I do this last one here to make the last one on top of the last one here make a half double crochet so I have 30 half double crochets now for row two and three you're going to do exactly what we did for the other front panel so chain one and turn beginning on top of the first half double crochet make a half double crochet now into this next one make a front post half double crochet next one back post half double crochet front post half double crochet and back post half double crochet that's how you're going to continue until you come here to the top here at the top you're going to make your last half double crochet here on top of the first one that we did for the first row then chain one turn and then repeat the same thing for the third row continue let's finish this second front panel and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay I finished making the second front panel here at the end I just did my last half double crochet on top of the last stitch cut my yarn pass my yarn through that last loop and this part here is done now here I did not add any button holes because the spaces in between the rows are big enough for you to use 13 14 or even 15 millimeter size buttons also you can make this for boys and girls so for a baby boy we're going to put our buttons here on this side and the button holes are going to be here on this side and for baby girls is going to be the opposite so that's what I plan to do at the end when I give you the finished measurements I'll go ahead and give you the size of the buttons that I'm going to use for mine now what we're going to do is we're going to make a collar here for this little sweater if you want to leave it like this and just do a simple single crochet row all around you can what I'm going to do like I said is a little collar here I've been having lots of requests for uh, my little sweaters to have collars so I'm going to go ahead and add a collar 
collar to this little jacket. If you don't want to, like I said, then go ahead and continue with the sleeve. Um, we're going to do that next. So to do the collar, I'm going to use the white yarn here and we're going to go here. This is the facing me. This is going to be the left side. This is where I have this tail end. So we're going to go into this same last stitch where we cut the yarn to finish this first from panel. So here, insert your hook, grab a loop here. I'm using the white yarn, chain one, and into this same stitch here, make a single crochet. Now we're going to make single crochets here along the front panel. So we're going to make three because we did three rows here for the front panel. So that's one, two, three. Now we have this row of chains, which is the same chain row where we did the half double crochet row. So into these remaining stitches, you're going to make a single crochet just like this right on top. So you can see the stitch right there. So insert your hook there. It's in the same space where you did the half double crochet in the first row. So insert your hook there and make your single crochet. Now into these next two stitches, here's the first corner. So into these next two stitches, I'm going to make a single crochet decrease. Insert your hook, grab a loop, insert your hook, grab a loop, three loops close. Now if we count these stitches from the beginning, I have two, four, six, eight, nine stitches. Now continue and make single crochets until you come to the second corner where you're going to do the same thing. You're going to make a single crochet decrease. This is going to round off our collar here. It's not going to be too squared. So we're going to come here to the second corner and we're going to do our single crochet decrease. So here into these next two stitches, make a single crochet decrease and then continue along until you come to the third corner where you're going to do the same thing into these two. Here's a third corner and then continue making single crochets until you come to the fourth corner where you're going to do these two single crochet decreases and then continue and finish here. I will meet you at the end of this first row for the collar and I'll let you know how many stitches I'll have here for the collar so that you can do the same number. Okay, so continue and I'll meet you here at the end of this first row. Okay, I finished making this first row. This is where I did single crochets here for the neckline. I have a total of 49 single crochets up to this last one here at the end. Now, if you're off by one or two stitches, it's okay. Just continue with the next row. So here, to begin the second row, we're going to chain one and turn. Now, here I'm going to make four slip stitches. So one slip stitch into the first stitch, then a slip stitch into the next, slip stitch into the next, that's three, and a slip stitch into the fourth. So I have four slip stitches here. Now, chain three. These three chains counts as one double crochet. So into this same space here, make a double crochet. For the collar, we're going to make increases at the end and at the beginning. So here are my increases for this second row. Now I'm going to continue and work one double crochet for each single crochet until I come to the other side. Right here, four stitches before we finish. I'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I'm here at the end of this second row up to here. I have 44 double crochets. Now into this last stitch right here, I have three stitches here that I'm going to leave here for the front panel. So into this last stitch here, I'm going to make my increase, so make a double crochet. So now I have 45 double crochets for the second row. Now for the third row, we're going to chain three and turn. These three chains do count as a double crochet. Now. On top of this first double crochet, I'm going to make a double crochet for this third row. And from here on, what I'm going to do is between the double crochets here, right in between two stitches, I'm going to make a double crochet. So beginning between the second and the third double crochet, make a double crochet between the next two, double crochet and so on. Here, I'm going to make these double crochets like this. If you prefer to make them on top, you can. It's just going to look a little different than mine, but it should also work out. So the important thing here is that you make your increases at the end and at the beginning. Continue like this to the end of this third row. I'm here at the end of this third row. Up to here, I have 44 double crochets. Now here at the end, we have the three chains into the third chain here, make two double crochets. 
And now at the end of this third row, I have 46 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, chain three and turn. Now beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet. Now between the next two double crochets, so between the second and the third right here, make a double crochet between the next two double crochet between the next two double crochet and so on continue like this to the end of this fourth row i will meet you there to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this fourth row up to here i have 45 double crochets now here at the end we have the three chains so into the third chain here make two double crochets and here's the fourth row with a total of 47 double crochets now for the fifth row chain three and turn in the fifth row we're going to repeat the same thing we're going to make a double crochet on top of the first double crochet and then in the middle of the next two double crochets so between the second and the third here make a double crochet between the next two double crochet between the next two double crochet and so on continue like this to the end of this fifth row i'm here at the end of the fifth row up to here i have 46 double crochets now into this last stitch here which is the three chains into the third chain here at the end we're going to make two double crochets and this is how i finish the fifth row with a total of 48 double crochets now for the sixth row we're going to chain one and turn now what i'm going to do in this sixth row is slip stitches on top of each one of the double crochets this is so that the top here looks nice it's optional you don't have to do it but i'm going to do slip stitches so beginning on top of the first one make a slip stitch on top of the next a slip stitch on top of the next slip stitch and so on this is how I'm going to continue and finish the collar. So continue. I will meet you here at this other end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making the last row here of slip stitches all around the collar. This is the last row here at the end. I just did my last slip stitch, cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop. Now all I need to do is just hide my end. And this smart collar style is all done and that's what it looks like. And here's the back side. Now, I also went ahead and added my buttons. Here I did one, two, three, four buttons. Now, these buttons that I'm using, these are 13 millimeter buttons. You can also use 14 or 15 millimeter size. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to make one of the sleeves. I went ahead and did this side here already. You're going to do it exactly in the same way here on this other side. Nothing is different. It's done exactly in the same way. So we're going to go here on the right side and right under the sleeve right here this is where we added the five chains right here next to this long double crochet so right here and grab a loop for the other side it's exactly the same so you're going to grab a loop here I'm using the same yarn with the five millimeter hook and here you're going to chain three one two three these three chains counts as the first double crochet so now into this same space here make two more double crochets so here's the first shell now i'm going to make a second shell right here this is one of the corners and then we did this when we divided the sleeves so we have three double crochets here so into this double crochet we're going to make our second shell so just insert your hook there and make three double crochets don't worry about the space here in the next row we're going to close that now we have these double crochets here for the sleeve i'm going to skip one two three and into the fourth double crochet right here i'm going to make my third shell now skip one two three and into the fourth make another shell there again skip one two three and into the fourth make your next shell this is how we're going to continue here all around the sleeve so continue i will meet you here at this end to show you how we're going to finish this first row i'm here at this other side of the first row for this sleeve up to here i have seven shells my last shell here i did it into this last double crochet here for the sleeve now i need to make one more so what i'm going to do here is 
I'm going to skip this double crochet and into this space here, I'm going to make my eighth shell. Now there's no right or wrong way of doing this. You can do it however way you like. The important thing is that you finish with eight shells. So here's my eighth shell. Now to finish this row, just go into the third chain here at the end and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finished the first row for the sleeve with eight shells. Now for the second row, chain three and turn. Now, since we're going to work this stitch here in the round, we're going to have to turn for every row. So chain three, turn. Now these three chains here counts as your first double crochet. So now I need to make my long double crochet. So yarn over and go into this space here, insert your hook there and make your long double crochet. Now into the same space here, make a double crochet. So here's the first stitch pattern, double crochet, the three chains, this long double crochet and right next to it, the third double crochet. Now jump to the next space between the next two shells. So right here, make your first double crochet. Now make your spike double crochet, yarn over, and we're going to make it right here. There's that double crochet, and then right next to it, the third double crochet. So I have two so far between the next two. Now here we have the double crochets for the sleeve, so this part's going to be easy. So double crochet, yarn over, and here at the bottom we have double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. So into the center double crochet, which is the second one, make your long double crochet, and then next to it your third double crochet. Again, between the next two, make a double crochet, go to the row below, and into the middle double crochet out of these three, make your spike double crochet and then right next to it a double crochet and so on now continue like this all around i will meet you here at the end of this second row to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this third row i have eight shells all around now to finish this row and all the rows to follow you're just going to go here to the beginning where we have the three chains and join with a slip stitch now, to begin each row from here on, you're going to chain three and turn. Now, remember that these three chains counts as your first double crochet for this stitch pattern. So, to make your second double crochet, which is the spike double crochet, you're going to go to the row below. In this case, it's the second row. So, you're going to insert your hook there, grab a loop, and make this long double crochet. Now, next to it, make your third double crochet and here's the first shell now between the next two make your first double crochet go down to the row below which is the second row here and into the middle double crochet which is the second double crochet make your spike double crochet and next to it here make a double crochet again between the next two a double crochet go to the row below and make a double crochet next to it your third double crochet and that's how you're going to continue all around now to finish this row you're going to go here into the third chain here at the beginning join with a slip stitch chain three and then turn and then start your next row exactly how we did it here at the beginning and that's all you're going to do from here on now we're going to do a total of 16 rows which is what i did here for this side we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen rows and then we're going to do the cuff so continue make these 16 rows here and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next i finished making these 16 rows so from here up to here there's 16 rows let's see there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen rows here for this first sleeve now what i did here at the end of the 16th row is i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn in and pass my yarn through that last loop now for the next three rows i'm going to use this white yarn and i'm using the same hook size so to begin here i'm going to go into the first double crochet here after we joined so chain one and into this same stitch here make a half double crochet 
one half double crochet into the next double crochet one half double crochet into the next and so on here for this first row i'm going to make half double crochets all around so continue i'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next i finished making the first row here of half double crochets for the cuff now up to here i have a total of 24 half double crochets now to finish just go here on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for rows two and three this is what we're going to do we're going to chain one and beginning into this first half double crochet which is the same one where we joined make a front post half double crochet next one back post half double crochet next one front post half double crochet next one back post half double crochet and so on this is how you're going to continue for the second row to finish this row you're just going to join here to the side with a slip stitch chain one and then repeat the same thing front post back post front post back post half double crochets that's how we're going to work the cuff here of the little sweater so continue finish these two rows and then i'll come back and show you the finished baby sweater okay i finished making these last two rows here for the cuff here at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and the cuff along with the sleeve is all done now you're going to do exactly the same thing that we did here for this sleeve you're going to do it here on this other side it's done exactly in the same way so here's the finished little sweater it's all done that's what it looks like i already told you i used uh 13 millimeter buttons here and the buttonholes are the spaces in between the rows of half double crochets and here's the cute little uh smart style collar it's absolutely beautiful these are the sleeves let me show you the back side this is the back now let me give you the finished measurements from here the top of the neckline down to the end of the last row here the sleeve it's measuring about 11.5 inches which is about 29 centimeters from under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve it's measuring about 7 inches which is about 18 centimeter now the width of the sleeve here just the top it's measuring about 3.75 inches which is about 9.5 centimeters and the length from the top of the neckline here to the end of the last row it's measuring about 11.25 inches which is about 28.5 centimeters now the chest area just the top it's measuring about 10.5 inches which is about 27 centimeters so based on these measurements this little jacket coat or sweater is for baby boys and girls between six and nine months old now you can make it smaller or bigger from zero to three months and up to nine to 12 months down here in the information box i'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger so be sure to check that out now i made this little sweater to match the little blanket that i showed you already this one here this is the stitch pattern i love this stitch and if you want to see this tutorial just click the little lamb down here next to my channel name it'll take you to my main channel page you will find the tutorial there okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time